the tote pool handicap hurdle. His next is his two miles and six furlongs, not to 140. Seagraves at the top for Darren Thompson, Jazzy Lady, Graham Clutterbuck, Honeysuckle Paul Rhodes, The Phonics Gem, Graham Clutterbuck, Roundabout Alex Cherry, Pan Muir, David Robertson, Prince B, Kevin Meenan, Gallant Gina, Paul Rhodes, Pepe Maletrian, Daniel French, Vermod Alex Cherry, and Padre Hogan has got the bottom pair, six of Crows and Ella Kiss Angel. So 12 of them in away they go. Making their way to the first flight. And. Looks like Pan Muir is going to be the first to show and get to the first of the 12 and they're all safely over it with Pan Muir in the lead for David Robertson who's had an absolutely blinding season. He's probably done better on the flat than he has on the jumps overall but he's uh, picked up the Gold Cup and one or two other big races as well so I don't think there's uh, any doubt that he's definitely been in the mix with the jump. In fact I think he didn't win the Grand National as well. Remember that, to be honest. Anyway, Pan Muir's in the lead, and uh, Seagrave is in second, with Prince B back in third, then Zephonix Gem and Honeysuckle, Jazzy Ladies after that one, and then Six of Crows. And towards the back, Vermod is just the back marker. One of only two greys in this field as they get to the third. That's another thing that I've noticed this season, as many grey horses as usual. Well, that's it significant or just a coincidence but it's Pan Muir that's in the lead and well clear of Seagrave in second and Prince B in third and Zephonix Gems after that one and Jazzy Lady and Six of Crows Honeysuckle on the inside and then Roundabout Gallant Gina and Vermont Elikis Angel has now dropped to the back Pippa Maletrin also towards the rear as they race down the back part of the track Pan Muir will lead over this one with a good lead of oh, four lengths or so to Prince B in second for Kevin Meenahan. Pan Muir continues to show the way. Two lengths clear to of Prince B in second, and there's a gap of four lengths then to a line of four or five of them. And Seagrave on the inside. And Jazzy Lady on the outside between the two of them, Gallant Gina and Six of Crows. And there's a line of about five after that as well, with Ella Kiss Angel just a little bit detached from the rest of them. In fact, about four lengths detached now, and seeming, seemingly dropping further behind as well. So maybe something amiss with Ella Kiss Angel, as that one looks to be getting a bit detached. But Pan Muir is going well enough in the lead and comes to the sixth midway point in the jumping. And enjoys a fall into lead over Prince B in second. Gallant Gina has now moved into a clear third as they get to the seventh. Which they all skip over nicely. All race up past the stand. Past the winning post, then with a the circuit to go. It's Pan Muir. David Robertson has got the lead by about five lengths to Prince B in second for Kevin Meenham, then Gallant Gina is in third. That's an Obi Wan or a Paul Rhodes, to be honest. I think it might be a Paul Rhodes who's got a red cap. Then Honeysuckles after that one as they get over the eighth. And Ella Kiss Angel's getting a bit close at the back now, so maybe she was just having a bit of a breather early on. But it's Pan Muir who's still the leader. Maybe the pace is pretty hot and it's going to be set up for a close of this, but Pan Muir is bowling along nicely in the lead. Nothing seems all that bothered about chasing him at the minute. And there's only seven furlongs to go. And Pan Muir has been in the lead all the way and still leads by four. Honeysuckle Prince B and Gallant Gina are three in a line in second. Behind them, Jazzy Lady about three lengths further adrift. Then Zephonix Gem and Pippi Maletrian. Six of Crows has dropped back so to a Seagrave Vermont and Roundabout are next as they get over the ninth. And Elikis Angel is still the back marker but now only a length or so off the rest of them. Pan Muir's lead is down at two. Honeysuckle is second as they come to the tenth. That's the third last. And over that they go then. And Pan Muir is the leader with a two length lead from Honeysuckle in second. Gallant Gina is third. And then Prince B now back in fourth. Then Jazzy Lady, Six of Crows, and Pepe Maletrian trying to get in it round the outside. Also coming through there's the Phonics Gem. They're beginning to bunch behind the leader, but they've still got to get to him. And it's Pan Muir who's still three clear of Gallant Gina and Six of Crows. Honeysuckle, they're really bunching up behind this leader now as they come down towards the final two flights and the final 
two and a half furlongs and Panmure is there to be shot up and they're coming to get him. It's Panmure in the lead. Zephonics Gem is second. Six of Crows, Pepe Maletri and then Vermont who's been out the back most of the way coming through the challenge. Over the second last they go and Panmure just about landed in front from Zephonics Gem. Pepe Maletri on the outside. Vermont coming through between the two but now it's Zephonics Gem and Pepe Maletri now the last and Pepe Maletri and it's the front and Pepe Maletri has got a length clear. Zephonics Gem is trying to fight back. The Alex Cherry pair running on but it looks like he's going to be Pepe Maletri and one last lunch for Zephonics Gem. Pepe Maletri and holding on just Pepe Maletri and just held on from Zephonics Gem. Then the Alex Cherry pair took the minors I think but it's unless the angle is really deceptive that is just about Pepe Maletrian's race I think yep really certain about that and looks like Kevin Meenahan's horse may have ran on into fourth as well so Pepe Maletrian for Daniel French the winner Zephonics Gem Grand Clutterbuck second roundabout Alex Cherry third Prince B Kevin Meenahan fourth and long time leader Pan Muir for David Robertson stuck on for fifth